one al album finished and I've got the little bag there to get it all wrapped up and put away and send off to Christine. Um, I've shown you all this in the other videos. That's the little um, bird house there, which I made the aperture, but you can see that in all the other videos. I've actually got the tie back here, a lovely long one. So it gives a lovely big bow at the edge as well there. I've made a little bee dangly here. Um, I only did it because Christine makes jewellery and um, so she could, could have probably made one better than I have done but I liked it, I thought it's lovely so that's a dangly there. Um, shown you all these pages uh, here in the other videos but um, I've put lots of elements in there now that you didn't see before, lots of lace, um, a little note card there um, or it could go that side as well it doesn't really matter which side there's another pocket there to go in as well um, another pocket there to put anything in um, butterflies and I punched them out of the same material uh, material the same paper there so that they all match love this photo isn't it gorgeous um i think it's because it's oldie worldy and quite delicate looking that's why i probably like it again um lots of lace um fussy cut the chair and put it in there i like this i love things like this actually just a little raggedy on a page um, doesn't need anything else it's a statement in itself um then there's this lovely girl here now i think this image came from baralusica she has some beautiful images if you want to go and check her out um again just lots of little snippets of paper that are left over in the box and just put it amity bloom that's those papers there and that was an old paper mania a4 um, paper pad and what, because it was A4, what I did is I put the paper pad in and then I printed on the other side the Amity, Amity Bloom papers. And they look really nice, actually. So there's another element to the journal. journal. Um, this is a aperture card that I had. And so I just put a um, die cut that side there. That's one of my newest die cuts, those flowers. They're gorgeous. And then again, my stamping, which I adore. I love it, especially the different colours as well. Um, a die cut bird, and it's with the same paper. No, 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 it isn't the same paper. That's That paper there, I think, is an Anna Griffin paper. And this is an antique paper -y, but they match so well. And I thought, right, the birdie can go there. All these are in my big boxes. I have lots of die cut pieces and I go rummaging through to see what can match. And that matched lovely, actually. Loads of journaling spaces. Stamped onto this material and then I cut out the lady and put her on there. And before I um, put it onto the page though, I went round and did a zigzag stitch. I'm not sure that you can see it really, but oh yes, you can now. There, I did a zigzag stitch on it as well. Um, this side, again, lots of different coloured stamping. Um, a bit of um, gauze or mesh, or I'm not sure what it's called actually. It's, it's called different things in different countries. You know, I think we call it gauze, but there you go. Um, that's an Amity Bloom paper as well. That's Amity Bloom. They're lovely. They're um, stamps and they're gorgeous actually. This is a, a, a circle die cut with material. And what I did, I put the both um, circles together and then I caught them with the sewing machine and did a zigzag stitch. And it caught them quite well actually. It's quite pleased with that. Um, more stamping here more stamping there and then my other new die cut there and I thought they matched quite well so a bit of sari silk and a bit of um, 
it's like a rose um it's not a material it's actually ribbon it comes in a long thing strand of roses and you just cut off what you want um amity bloom stamp again oh i like this one this is the same cir die cut circles because uh, when you die cut, you can, as long as your machine can do it, you can fold it over and you can get at least eight die cuts of material out um, without um, any pressure or any having to use any heaviness with it at all. And I just put those on, but I didn't stitch around them this time. Um, that's Amity Bloom, but I can't remember what this paper is, but I did an overlay on there onto the paper. Um, more journaling spaces, vellum, that's antique paper -y. there's Amity Bloom again, um, this is the middle and this is an envelope here and the envelope it's, um, it was a window envelope and I just fold it in half, cut it down and then that's a pocket there, and I must put in um, that's a pocket there. I have actually got two tags to put in there, and I've embossed them, but I must remember to put those in. And there's a stamped postcard that goes in there. So note to self, put in the tags in the middle. Um, Amity Blue, antique papery there. It's not that gorgeous, I love it. Again, this is um, stamping onto material. It's very fine. Um, it's not linen, it's cotton, but it's very, very fine, wafer thin, really. And it's lovely for stamping on and then just um, fraying the edges. Um, there's a tab that I've put on there. That's good material as well. Oh, and then I stamped there as well onto the same um, pink material. Yeah, the other side to the Amity Bloom, there's a stamped butterfly. Oh, I love this stamp. Now, I think that one's um, Crafty Individuals. Uh, and I've stamped, I love the purple, so I thought, right, I'm going to stamp onto some material as well. Now, there's the material. It is very, very fine. And I thought, right, I loved her so much, I'm going to stamp onto the material there. And then I'm going to put it on in the back of the... Um, album but I was a bit disappointed because it's not the same colour as what this one is this one's the, the near enough the perfect colour to go with the um, tags but because I stamped it on pink it changed the um, ink to a sort of um, uh, purpley pinky colour which it obviously would because it's pink but yes I was a bit disappointed with that but no one really would notice it, only me, because I made it and knew what I'd done wrong. So, But these stamps here, the green and this one here, they're stamping up and they're gorgeous as well. That little bird was in my bit box and I just stuck it on there because I thought it went quite well as well. Lots of other little pieces randomly placed but oh I like this page as well this page is lovely she's gorgeous um, stamped butterfly uh, stamped um, the butterfly and the flower came from the same stamps but the uh, postage stamped I think oh the Carabel studio that's where those two stamps came from very nice as I say, lots of journaling. Oh, this is the um, A4 Paper Mania, and then which I put through and did the antique papery. This is a Stamping Up Flourish stamp. There. Oh, I love this one. This I thought was gorgeous. There you go. And then the tab with the little bit of material as well and the same flourish stamp but this time I stamped it in a turquoise and a green in the middle B 
because it matched the bird, which was turquoisey and greeny. And it matched the other page, which I love this page. It's got um, everything on there I like. Material, girl images, hand sewing, stamping, and just layering up and, and trying to make it look pretty. I love that. And this is the other side to the um, aperture card there. So it made it really sturdy. Um, die cut flower, that's Tim Holtz, and coloured it with some coloured inks. Love these delicate colours, they're gorgeous. I don't think there's much. Oh, yeah, more stamping, more layering up. Pretty stamping. Oh, yeah, and then the um, dragonfly stamp. Just um, placed a bit of lace on there as well and stamp two different colours with the crown. This punch is a Martha Stewart punch. Had it for years and you see lots of people putting those in their journals um, along the edges and I really love it. Getting to the end now, that's just about it, which is good because I can just, I can get and put it in and wrap it all up there and I'm able to catch the post then. But yeah, oh, and this is the last page. I love this one as well. This is a glassine bag, which I glued down. And then I glued on lots of pieces of material and buttons, as well, a button as well. And then fingered over with gesso again. Me and my gesso, you know that. So just went over with the finger and gesso. And my nails are starting to grow again. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> uh, can't wait for the nail bars to open, but not sure when that's going to be. And the hairdressers, actually. Oh, my goodness. Can't talk about my hair. But, and as I say, there's the back, which I'm not unhappy with it, but I wished it had been stamped onto white. I wished I'd done it, yeah. So that's this journal ready to wing its way to Christine now. And... I'd love to hear what she makes of it. As I say, I don't think she's seen them before and I don't think anybody around where she lives makes anything like this. So it'll be interesting to see her thoughts on it. Someone new. Right, there you go. Hope you like it. Now I can start something new. Way Bye, everybody.